Solutions and I'm doing uh, an index card challenge and it's from uh, Libby's Lovely's uh, Patreon channel and uh, you can also find this uh, information on her YouTube channel as well as her Patreon channel and um, you can download this free index card the prompts for the whole year 52 weeks of the year so I'm going to go ahead and do weeks one two and three and so um, the first three are grace wind and soft so we're going to go ahead and start off with those so um, I kind of went on ahead and did a little bit of prepping ahead so for grace I'm going to do a little bit of decoupage and what well, it's not really I don't know if it's considered decoupage or not if you're only using depending on the type of glue you use I'm just going to use some of this the glue stick the extra strength uh, craft bond I'm not going to do like I usually do and um, use Mod Podge I'm just going to glue it on like this with a glue stick I saw someone uh, do theirs like that and ever since then I just that's my go-to way of decoupaging using this kind of glue instead of the other Mod Podge wet glue so I'm just going to put this on here like at an angle like this and I am going to stitch on the other I'm going to add something to the back of it so I'm going to go ahead and add some glue back here so that it can get stuck like I said, I'm going to cover it anyway with something else. So let's just go ahead and put that on there. I'll just do like a collage on the back of it to kind of blend this image in. But it's a whole lot quicker doing it this way than it is using the Mod Podge. Which, don't get me wrong, I still like the Mod Podge, so I'm not hating on it. <laughs> So. All right, so we're just going to turn this back to this side, and hmm. these are going to be like super easy. So we've got the word grace on here, which is our first prompt, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. This is one of my rub on transfers. I'm going to use it. I have a huge collection of stickers and rub on transfers and stuff that I really need to just go ahead and get rid of. So I'm just going to go ahead and start using them instead of hoarding them. Because <laughs> I'll find a lot of great deals and I'll forget that I've got them because they're like hidden. Not hidden, but they're like put somewhere and I don't even know where they are half the time. So I'm just going to start using them. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. I'm challenging myself to make these cards without a whole lot of thought behind it. Should I put that there? I think I'm going to put this here. Grace, I like that. I'm just going to rub it on. Oops, uh oh. I'm gonna make sure this stays on correctly. I guess it's because I didn't glue this completely all the way down. Let me change that. Make sure it's glued down and it isn't coming up. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, you know what? The napkin is what I need to glue down. So let's just put some glue right here. And we're going to ensure. Oh boy. Okay, so now maybe it'll stay. Or maybe not. Hmm. Never did that before. It's okay. 
Okay, because that's what art is, and we're going to figure this out. I'm going to take the G off of one of these other words. Hopefully that will work. Sometimes things happen for a reason. I think that's a pretty font right there. Yes. Now we have our grace. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to add like a sticker or something on there. Uh, or a bird or something maybe. You know what? I'm really not much of a farm type person. But you know what? Since I've got these stickers, I'm just going to put this little cow on here. I'm not big on... That's not my thing, but you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to use some stickers. And boom, there it is. Grace. And I think I'll just go around the edges with some ink. Like I said, we're keeping this super simple. I'm just going to take some speckled egg, distress oxide ink. Well, it ain't oxide ink, it's just distress ink. I do have the oxide ink, but I'm just using the regular distress ink. And we have that side. And now I need to do something with this side. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm just going to put old book page or something maybe on here. Actually, I'm going to use some of this Prima marketing paper that I have. Um, Amelia Rose. It's the 8 by 8 paper pad. And, and it's double sided. Beautiful images. But I'm going to use a piece of that on this side of this right here. And I'm just going to tear it towards myself. I'm just going to stress this. And I'm going to create like a pocket. Take some of that glue off, and then I'm going to line this up at the top. And then I'm just going to add 
add some of these little stickers on here to kind of blend the papers together. And it's nothing fancy, nothing anything, you know. So I'm just going to go around the edge of this with some blue. And this is basically going to be complete. This one will be complete. And we'll have a tuck spot for it. So you can put something down in there if you like. You know. I might stitch around the edge. I don't know. We'll see. So let's go ahead and start on the second one. And the second one is wind. So we already have grace and now we're going to do wind. And what I did do earlier is I went on ahead and I found a little dictionary page of it somewhere. I find it. Yeah, here we go. I found like a little dictionary snippet of wind. And um, I'm going to stress the edge. And I am going to stitch this on. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece. I'm going to kind of keep the first three or this whole entire month. The, the theme kind of similar. So I'm going to stitch. Well, I'm going to add this on here. I'm going to glue this to this black paper. And then I'm going to stitch it on to this uh, index card. I'm going to stitch this on here and I'll be right back. Okay, I went on ahead and stitched that. Um, so, and then I went on ahead and also stitched around the edge of the first card for Grace. So for wind, I'm going to take this off. Um, as a matter of fact, even for Grace, I think I'm going to cut that off and put that right there on the back of that. Just reuse the words that we already have. And I like the vintage typewriter type that it has on here. I love that. I love everything vintage. This is really neat how she's got these. Okay, so let me distress around the edges. I'm going to distress around the edges and then I'm going to glue it to this blue and then I'm going to glue it onto here. And the same thing with this. So let me get my little distress ink. And just kind of lightly distress these around the edges. You know, I don't want to take oops, I don't want to take away too much of the the white backdrop of these little words. Then I'm just going to glue it to the blue that's on here. I love that. The pink and the, it's like a painted kind of look that's on there. I might add that to part of the background. Let 
just going to put this down here. Actually, I'm going to put it in the middle or somewhere. I'll put it like right in here. That way it shows pretty good. Okay. So, Grace and Grace. And then Lynn. I'm definitely going to put this. I'm probably going to add something up here first and then I'll add the word wind on there. So, hmm, I have these other stickers that come from Dollar Tree as well. And they have like rain, the sun, uh, you know, just things like that. This is like the moon. I'm still going to use it anyway. But I think I need... Maybe I should decoupage something onto here. Maybe not the same flower, but... Um, hmm. I do have some rice paper that I may use. I have some Stamperia decoupage um, paper, rice paper, that I think I'm going to use on here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take it out the pack so we can kind of look at it and see. This is my first time using rice paper. So I imagine it's similar to using napkins. I'm not sure. Um, I like the texture of it. It's really nice. So... I think I'll put, yeah, I think I want to use this image. Oh, or this image. I think I'm going to use this one. This is so pretty. And on the back side, I think I'll use this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut these out. Now, I don't know if I have to use, if I can, if this will work with, um, Paste, or if I definitely have to use Mod Podge. Now, I don't know if there's a layer behind this. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on there. I'm going to try it with paste, <laughs> and hopefully that will work. If not, then I guess we'll use the Mod Podge. So, let's just try the paste first and see what we can come up with or see what happens. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I love how you can still see the dictionary page up underneath it. I love that. I'm still going to go ahead and put this on here somewhere or maybe I should put it on the other side we'll see um, wind definitely put that somewhere over here but let's cover this up and like I said well if I use that then you'll still see the yeah I'll use this right here I'll still use this I want to cover that stitch up, but even if it still shows through, that's fine. Because I feel like it might actually give it a little bit of character. So we're going to see. I'm going to go back in that snow. Okay, so we're going to put this back on here. 
that was my son talking to me. <laughs> it snowed earlier and uh, we went outside and threw some snowballs at each other. He wants to go back out again and play. But I'm a little cold, so we're just going to wait a little bit. Okay, I like how that covered up the stitches. And even though you can still see it, I like that, how it still bleeds through. Okay, so I'm just going to slap this on here. I don't know if it even makes sense or not, but I'm just putting it there anyway. Definitely need something over here. Uh, maybe something with contrasting color. Um, I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to set wind. Like in here, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, this is going to be a really simple project. I'm not going to put a lot of thought process into it. I'm just going to do it and call it done. So now we have wind. Let me just fix that. It looks a little lopsided. I will just leave it. So, so far we have grace and we have wind. So, let me go around the edges with blue and then also stitch around the edges and then I will complete it. Okay, so here this is. And um, when I stitched it, I had already put this on here. So, but I didn't want to stitch over top of here. So, I left this blank, but I need to do something with it. So I think I'm just going to cover that up by simply adding one of these little flowers. I think I'm going to use the shade of flower. I think that'll work. So we're going to use some art glitter glue. I'm just going to slap that on right quick. And it kind of hides the little void right there. Alright, and so we've got these two cards so far that are both stitched around the edges. So now let's work on our third one for today. And it is soft. So something that's soft, I see a butterfly. And last year I made some butterflies and I'm just going to use one of these since it is blue and it has cheesecloth on it. Um, I made these with my using up during my using up scraps videos, one of those. And so we're just going to add it on here. So we need a really cute background. So I think I'm going to use some of the Stamperia background, uh, double sided Alice. Uh, it's like the Alice in Wonderland theme. So, this is, like I said, this I've never really used Stamperia. I, well, I do have one little thing of Stamparia. Um, I think it's called Timeless or something like that. I have used it before. I don't have a whole lot of it. Oh, see, I've never seen a pad side by side like that. Oh, that's cool. It's like look, I'm used to them being on the top instead of on the side. Okay. So let's find a really cute, oh wow, this is so pretty. It's double sided. I don't even know which side I'm going to use. Wow, these are so pretty. Oh, I love these backdrops. But since I am doing like a, I think I'll do this, use this page or a portion of this page. much that's too much blue. 
so maybe this yeah I think I'll use this side I love both sides but I need something that's going to stand out so what I'm going to do is basically cut this what is this three by five I think this is a three by five index card yeah three by five index card so I'm going to cut this at approximately five inches I'm just going to mark where I'm going to cut it at and just kind of go straight up and it doesn't have to be perfect I'm just going to go straight across up to about three inches This is approximately three inches. Mm, maybe not quite, but that's fine. And I'm just going to tear going down. And I'm just going to form like a little pocket out of this. And I'm just going to add some blue. I'm just going to glue it on. I think I'm just going to kind of pull this down a little bit so that you can see it's kind of tattered and worn, deckled. I'm really going, I'm feeling this deckled look. Like, I'm loving it. Love it, love it, love it. Now I'm starting to wish that I would have put some of this behind it. That's fine. We're going to need something so I'm going to glue it to like this part right here. Yeah. But before I glue it on there I think I need to put something back here and on this side. I think I'm just going to... Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just going to put this on this side. And then I'm just going to, let's see, what can I put on here? I'm just going to put a sticker right here. And another one of these stickers going across.
going to see stress the edges. So now I'm just going to stitch around the edges and then I'll glue on the butterfly. This is going to be pretty. Okay, so I stitched around the edges of this on both sides. So we've got our lower pocket on the front side and then we have our upper pocket up here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this on to just the, the face of this front flap. I'm just going to add the bottom portion of this butterfly on there. That way it can still fit down on something because when you set it in something, your uh, the cheesecloth can still bend. So, and you can still set something down in there, you know. So you just got your 3D look, and there's enough room to put something down in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add the word soft because butterflies, I see them as being little soft creatures. So we're just going to set this here. I like that. And then I found this cute little tree. This one was from, I think this was my digital freebie kit on my blog. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. But. I have a link in the description where I got it from. So I'm just going to add this on here, distress it, and add this on. And I'm going to glue this on here. Should I put it? No, I think I'll put it over here. Not too far up, but just enough where you can still see that, and you can still see all this, and you can still tuck something under here. So I'm just going to put glue on this upper part. there. I need to add a little bit of glue on here too. Make sure it's all covered. And I'm going to stick this under here. That way I don't get glue up on this white part. This is pretty much it. So you have the three tags. We have our grace, wind, and soft. Grace, wind, and soft. Let me back up just a little bit in case you can't see it too well all in frame. So week one, two, and three. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, Please check out my other videos and my blog on my social media sites and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching.